When lightning strikes nearby or power surges in your home, your expensive electronics are in danger. But there's one good way to protect them. Let's see how. Lightning strikes and other power surges can send a charge through your home's power supply that can damage sensitive, expensive electronics and appliances. It doesn't have to be a direct lightning strike at your home. Strikes nearby or even a tree falling across a line many miles away can cause the electrical charge at your wall outlet to surge. The best way to protect your expensive equipment is to plug them into a surge protector. Hi, I'm Carrie from EPB, and this is a power strip, not a surge protector. This is a surge protector. Well, what's the difference? Well, one can protect your equipment and one can't. So let's learn more about the two. A power strip is only intended to expand the capacity of a power outlet. They aren't really rated for the type of surges that can damage what's plugged into them. A surge protector, on the other hand, is specifically designed to provide ample protection from damaging power surges. A good surge protector can cost $30 to $50, but compared to the cost of replacing computers, TVs, and other expensive electronics that may not be covered by insurance, it's worth it. But with so many on the market these days, it may be difficult to know what to look for and which type to get. So let's talk to a leading expert on the EPB Energy Pros team, Wayne Cagle, to find out more. Hi, Wayne. Hi, Carrie. Okay, Wayne, tell me, what should I look for when purchasing a surge protector? Okay, the first thing you need to look at is the joules rating. And the joules rating, it's telling you how much energy this surge protector is going to withstand before it will fail. Okay. So if you're hooking into TVs, computers, or computers all the stuff like these that, days. Yes, you want to get one that's got a, a higher joules rating. Okay. okay, at least 2,000. I mean, if you want to get one up to like 4,000, the more you're going to plug in, the more you want to get in. Okay, but at okay. least 2,000. At least 2,000. And uh, also, you want to get one with a GFCI on it. And what this does is the surge protector will sense if there's a short circuit mm -hmm. and it will turn everything off and this will, can stop from you having an electrical fire. Okay, how long do you have for that to happen for everything to get turned off? This is immediate. It cuts it off immediately so it doesn't go anywhere else in the house. Okay, so 2000 joules rating and GFCI, anything else that I should consider? Uh, yes, uh, if you are working from home, you need to get an uninterruptible power supply or UPS. It's like a battery backup. Okay. So if you're working on your computer at home and the power's going out, mm -hmm. this is going to give you a backup. They're usually about two or three minute backup. This is not for you to sit and work on uh, 30 minutes after Just the power goes to off. Shut down Just enough to on. safely yeah. shut down the computer and save your work. Okay, great. That's really helpful. Yes. Is there anything that else that I can do to protect my home from a power surge? Okay, I think the best thing that you can get is a whole home surge protector. Okay. Your electrician will come and install it in your electrical panel. The product costs $80. Your electrician will have it. And what this will do is protect the whole house. And they believe in this product so much that a lot of them have warranties that if you do have a failure with your TV or your computer, that w they'll, they'll pay for it. So a small investment that can really protect your whole home. Oh, the greatest investment right there, yes. Well, great. Thanks, Wayne. Keep in mind, you can count on an EPB Energy Pro for helpful advice on anything energy related. All you have to do is give us a call. And be sure to watch our other videos in this series for more insight into your home's energy. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.